Hi, today we're going to talk about reporting in our ongoing series about threat modeling. Reporting is a tricky thing. Um, a lot of people kind of fall off the cliff here in the reporting area because uh, uh, they don't take care, they don't take proper care um, in thinking about who gets the report, what goes in the report, and who owns the report, right? So who gets it? You need to think about this one really carefully, right? Threat modeling is something that's positive. You find threats, you fix them, you mitigate risk, you allow the focus of uh, resources, you, uh, you optimize relationships. All are good things, right? Threat modeling is not about beating up somebody else. Threat modeling is not about uh, my organization looking better than the other organization because, you know what, I only had uh, three threats that were level 16, you had four threats and they were level 17, therefore I'm better than you. What you cannot do in threat modeling is look across, take a cross section of all these reports and say that one is bad and one is good. Within a certain, if everybody on the team is the same and all the applications are similar, and um, the, the SMEs are the same, then you can start saying, well, this one's a little bit uh, safer than this one, and that one's a little bit better than that one. If you look at a finance application versus a PD application versus a, uh, a straight up IT application versus a control systems application, you cannot compare uh, a control system application with a PD application. You just don't do it. It's, it's not gonna get you the right result. So who gets it? Who, you give a threat modeling report to whoever needs to get that threat modeling report and no one else, okay? Second, what's in the report? What's in the report is everything that you've gathered. You tell them, here's what we did, here's what we looked at, here are the threats that we found, here's how we ranked those threats, and here's how we decided to respond to those threats. Um, what you do not put in the threat modeling report is judgments, um, um, comparisons across applications or outside of systems. You do not put in there assessments of uh, people. You don't, um, you're not going to bash a vendor or a supplier. This is straight up data. This is not about anything other than that. So what's in it is what you did and nothing more. Thirdly, who owns it? This is actually a very uh, a prickly question because the people that own the application should probably own the data in the threat modeling report. However, many IT security organizations think that this is an assessment of security, therefore we should own it. So look at your organization, talk to your OGC, and say who properly should own the data in this threat modeling report, put it with them, okay? So now we come to the end of our kind of uh, a brief series on threat modeling. There's a lot more details that are, that are available. There's a lot more stuff that we're gonna teach you on this. But for now, you've got a high level overview of each of the steps and the considerations within those steps. Uh, thank you very much and look for more real soon.